when you've been a vegan a while and you're speaking to non-vegans and you're almost like trying to convert them um, and you're so full with all this information that you've now learned over the last couple of months or a couple of years even um, about the yeah, damage to the environment um, you know you see slabs of meat on their plate and you see that animal being tortured in your mind um, because you've just become so aware to it all and then I, and I do this all the time like then I try to use that information that I have in my mind um, to convert the non-converted to convert non-vegans and you know explain to them why they shouldn't be eating that way but thing is, is that they haven't really opened their mind up to that yet so they can't even begin to really understand it some people can I'm not saying that you know you see it especially in younger people that okay you explain that to them they see the correlation and they're like freaked out and they just don't want to eat meat anymore and then they figure out the eating from there but I'm talking more people like my age um, and older people who've been eating the way they've been eating for so long that to try and see the correlation between the food on your plate and the living animal or the food on your plate and the destruction to the environment it's just not physically possible they just cannot comprehend it their brain cannot just the, the brain cannot form a bridge there for whatever reason I mean I'm not saying that it won't form the bridge eventually but it can't do it in that moment and it's not going to do it really ever unless you go in another route and the other route as far as I can see is um, food you've got to make it more personal um, they may be able to understand that it's cruel they may be able to understand that you know the damage it's doing to the environment but unless they can be given like and this goes for somebody who's in an eating disorder because when you're in an eating disorder you don't really give a shit about the animals you don't like I, that might sound fucking harsh but it's the truth well my truth um and i didn't give a shit about the environment i didn't i gave a shit about me it was all about me how did i make it personal how did it how did it hit home for me somebody said well this is what you eat this is what you can eat um and that's what it is i think that for a lot of people, unless they know what they're supposed to be eating, they're never going to go vegan. And that's a big problem. It's, we're so used to this way of eating now that it's like, I'm so used to this way of eating that it's almost like bonkers that people eat any other way because it doesn't make any sense to me. Um, but I forget that people don't eat this way and they don't know that like, that's not a portion of bananas. That's not a portion of potatoes. This is a portion of potatoes. A kg and a half is a portion of potatoes. You know, um... not more potatoes if you want 10 bananas is a portion of bananas not two not one banana you know um, it's the food and that's the brilliance of raw till four because raw till four gives you this really basic guideline um, it tells you okay breakfast lunch dinner exercise and then you can make that as difficult or as simple as you really want it to be um, but it's just a basic guideline that anyone can follow um, that's why I watched so many Freely and Doran Rider videos in the beginning, especially Freely, because she really just like broke down her eating plans. Um, and a lot of the time, like most of her videos, she's eating the same thing, but it was almost like my mantra. Like, you know, I had to keep watching it over and over and over and over again until it like finally clicked. Um, and I was doing this as I was eating this way. It wasn't like I was watching her videos and then I went. I mean, I watched her videos and was like almost immediately like, oh right that makes sense I was trying because I, I am one of these people who like just you know it's like I think of something and it'll be in the back of my mind for ages and I think that I'm not thinking about it but subconsciously I probably am thinking about it and then one morning I wake up and I'm doing it and I'm like oh how did I get here but um I think it's food I think that's like the biggest reason that people aren't vegan is because they just don't know what to eat um, and as a vegan I think it's important to try and explain that to people and figure it out for yourself as well like figure out how could you explain to somebody this is how you should eat if you don't even know what you like and what suits you